In other news, JLS, a couple articles came out over the past couple of days. One that LeVar Ball wants the Knicks for LaMelo. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the Knicks are had after LaMelo themselves, potentially at all costs, at any cost, according to Chad Ford, uh, draft insiders, thinks, thinks the Knicks are on a one-way path to LaMelo, no matter what draft pick they acquire uh, in the lottery. So, it, it, Like, he's a great pick. Um, I would not... I, like, this, there's only been a few times in NBA history when first-round picks, when first picks have been traded, and usually they involve in your your first round pick with a future first round pick. And when you consider the talents coming out next season, you would think that uh, it's not really worth it to package two first round picks for Lamelo. And I love Lamelo, and I feel like if we did get Lamelo, he would be a really good pick for this team. But I also feel like there's other options if we do not end up getting. It. Yeah. So if they can get at lowest fourth. I think they could get a legit shot at him, even if they have to trade, that wouldn't necessarily kill them in the long run. But it'll probably cost you a little bit more. It'll probably cost you, like I said, an, a, a um, lottery protected pick in, in, a, in a future draft. I Next year's draft is too, um, man. <laughs> yeah. I would steer away from next year's draft like the play. And the more I think about it is like, I'm still good with Killian. I'm mm. still cool with trading down for Kira Lewis. Melo would really fit nice. It seems like he would fit nice next to RJ, but there's other options if it's too expensive. I don't see Lamelo as the, as the ideal pairing with RJ just because right now they're not the, the, the best shooting backcourt. But I think you still have to go for the best player available when you get him. Top three pick could get it done depending on who's picking ahead of you. Right. If Golden State has number one, they're not picking Lamelo. Cleveland, you, I think you had said maybe, but I, I can't see it. Maybe they, I, t- I think they would go Edwards over Lamelo. And then it, if the Knicks that. get third, you're good. I can see that. You just never know. You just never just, know. But I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing it out there that, uh, I mean, you know, I, if you sit in top three, you still have a good chance. And I also just, to me, I like him, but I don't love him. It's not like, like I'm not giving up any future picks. Next year's draft is going to be incredible. I'm not trading a house pick for sure. I don't even want to trade the Dallas pick because, you, you know, you know, KT gets hurt. So no, that could be a lottery pick. A great draft. I'm not trading that pick either. But I trade the 27th pick and like a Knox to trade up a few spots. That I would do, but I'm not trading any picks, man. He's the best point guard in the draft. If you're talking yeah. about actually running an offense, There's no, I don't think you can question it. I, I, I think. I think JLS. Everybody's gonna want this kid to be a star right away. I don't. I don't, I don't think we're, we're gonna be as patient in his development. Just like RJ. Just like everybody else, man. It's New yeah. York. It's automatically you're gonna automatically be looked at as a potential savior of the franchise, and it's very unfair. But that's just the reality of the situation. A guy with Lamelo's fanfare, you're not just gonna look for him to fit in. You know, when he gets here, you're gonna look for him to take over. And and again, we still need to have patience. He's still very young. And, and and he he, he needs to uh, get get his experience up, especially at the next level. But I think the expectations are going to be through the roof for him for sure.